This video shows you how the Brightpole Shopify integration works when you've got product custom fields in Shopify or file uploads. So we've got a product here on our Shopify store that comes in two colours. We've got Sunrise and Ocean and these are already mapped to Brightpole product options so they're not custom options because they define the different inventory levels between the two. So what we do have however is custom messages and these are custom variants because they don't affect the inventory levels. Effectively, we'd take a Sunrise Kayak and put a custom message on it and print a logo. So these do not affect the inventory. Now Shopify calls these custom line items or line item properties. So if you have a look through their documentation, you can see how to do it on Shopify. And you might need a web designer to help you with this. Let's buy this Kayak and put a custom message on. Let's upload a logo and add to cart. You can see here we've got the custom message and the logo on here. And let's check out. I've already logged in as a customer, so all we need to do is continue and then pay by card. I've got a bogus payment method here for demo purposes. That's the order now complete. And if we go to our Shopify control panel, we can see order 1021 here at the top of the list. Opening up that order, and we can see the custom message and the logo. Within a few minutes, the sale will be downloaded into Brightpile. And here we can see the top of the list for Edward James. Going into the sale, we can see that the right product has been added to the order because we know the SKU. The colour has been assigned Sunrise because that's the right colour for this SKU. And the two custom options, the name and the logo, have been added as extra lines on the product name. That means that whenever we print documentation, we'll also see the information here. So that's great for your customer, your warehouse team, and so on. So it's as easy as that. Just set up custom options in Shopify using line item properties, and then they're downloaded into Brightpearl. And that takes us to the end of the video where we show you how we work with custom fields.